joy and a blessing today to share together in the ordinance of baptism. I want to introduce to you again today Paul and his elder Ware, who've come today to honor Christ and believers' baptism. They know and love the Lord and uh, want to serve the Lord here together with us, and we rejoice uh, to have them with us. I, uh, I have shared before, but I want to share again that I actually knew Paul in his childhood. He was pushing toward the teens, I think, when I met him. He's not a teenager anymore. <laughs> but what a, an exciting thing it is to have a reconnection. Uh, his mother is here today, and uh, we are excited to have uh, other guests. We, we would like to invite you, if you are acquainted with this couple, and would like to, or if you've made their acquaintance and would like to stand in solidarity with them wherever you are, as is our custom, we'd invite you to do that at this time as we share together in this ordinance. All right. Paul, who is Jesus? He is my Lord and Savior. Paul, because you know that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, and because you're willing to obey his command, I baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Zelda, who is Jesus? He is my Lord and Savior. Because you know that he's your Lord and Savior and because you're willing to obey him, I baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This person is not only one of our brothers in Christ and been worshiping with us, but he is a very dear friend. And I thank God to be able to share this moment with him and with those who've come to share uh, this moment with him as well. I'd like to invite his family and those of you who've made Aner Elsner's acquaintance, wherever you are in the room, to stand. And there are quite a number uh, as we share together this very special moment. Aner, who is Jesus? My Lord and Savior. Aner, because you know that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior and because you're willing to obey his command, I baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I made an offer at the end of the early service that if there are those that have been struggling with taking this step, you know, sometimes the problem is we just wait too long. And so if you will let me know, you can be baptized just prior to the Alive service, uh, which will happen this evening at 6.30. But you need to let us know so that we'll be prepared for you. But I just wanted you to know that opportunity exists. To take an important step, it is simply what Jesus commanded. Believe and be baptized. God bless you. 